Pisces, welcome into your reading with me, Deborah. And we are calling in your spirit guides right now to come in and guide this reading forward. I'm going to ask them to come into my spirit room and to guide this, to speak to me, and then I can give you the information that I'm hearing from them. This is a general reading. If it does resonate with you, um, you are going to know immediately it will speak to your soul, okay? If it does not resonate, it's okay. You can check your writing in Moon and Venus. You can also go into the playlist here that is your zodiac sign, and you can check which one of the readings to you they're all timeless if you would like to have a personal reading with me deborah you can contact me my email is below in the description box below i do personal readings basically every single day um pre-recorded videos as well as um video chats with you guys out there and um, you can find out how that works and the details of that in the description box below otherwise let's get into this for you what message comes through for you today pisces okay there's an event that's going to take place here. Um, there's something coming, okay? Uh, you got the Perfume of Sophia. Beautiful card. The Perfume of Sophia. It's almost like you're going to smell something, okay? There's events that are going to take place here. Let me read this to you. Um, you will know what to do and when to do it, okay? Make space for healing while you are waiting for an event to take place. Um, your intuition will guide you through the difficult times. And in, the, in a moment, you will have the answers. Hmm. Remain open to divine timing. Okay, so right now, you're in the pause, <laughs> not in a pause, you're in the movement, you, you're moving towards a specific space in your timeline. There is no time, we move through space, okay? And to get through space involves movement, sleeping, waking up, going to work, coming home, eating, doing things, getting you from one place to the next space. And when you arrive where you meant to arrive, clarity is going to be there. You are going to know exactly what to do. And it's like you're not even going to doubt yourself. You're going to feel afraid, apparently. They said there will be fear in you. I felt like anxiety at that moment because you know now is the time to do something or to release something or change something. Go into something. And you're going to do it anyway. Okay? Very brave of you. <laughs> All right. So let's see what they've got to say here. Seven of Cups. A lot of overwhelming energy. The Three of Cups, whatever you are doing here is going to be for your own happiness, all right? The Chariot card, you are changing paths, all right? But you are taking your power back. We've got the Emperor coming in here. The Eight of Wands, this is very close. This is very close. The Moon card, yeah, this is not far from you now. This is close to your energy. It's not far. You need to be, you need to be preparing yourself for this. Um... Uh, what I do see here, we have got uh, Cancer coming in, Pisces coming in, and we've got Aries here in your reading. You are also in your reading. Um, the Seven of Cups is talking about a lot going on. It is talking about you feeling overwhelmed. It's talking about you not knowing what to do, which direction to take. Um, if you're doing the right thing or the wrong thing, you're really scared that you go onto the wrong path there. Or you make a decision that's the wrong one. So you're kind of like not making any decision. And at the same time, it's like you know, you might know something can happen. Whatever goes on in this card here, there's going to be a moment of change. And I feel like it's either going to happen to you or you're going to allow it to happen or you're going to do it yourself. It's like a moment. Whatever you do decide to do here, whatever changes and shifts into your life here, whichever direction you need to take, you got to align it with lies next to this card and that is the three of cups what brings you absolute and utter joy what makes you feel like a child um, in your life what brings out the peace in your energy what makes you feel like the environment that you are in is uh, one that is of harmony that's where you need to make a decision about. If it doesn't look like what I just described, then you know what to do. Okay. Um, this is you ultimately taking back your power in your own life. 
This is you making decisions about how you live, how you feel, how life is treating you and how others treat you. You take it back. You've given your power maybe away to a situation, you will take it back again. And that means you call the shots. Okay, that means you take back power and control inside of you. Um, it is coming in very quickly. This is maybe before the end of the year. Uh, I'm going to tell you this is very quick. I feel like you're doing something, changing something. Something happens here um, to you and your energy before the end of this year. You've got three weeks left. Is it? Yeah, three weeks. Three weeks. And you're doing something here. That's going to rock the boat okay um good for you i'm just saying that's so empowering i see you just screw reading i see you changing direction here there's you taking your power back this is you taking action now you take your action your power back you take actions behind the decision and you change direction and um it's scary because you stand next to the unknown energy yeah there you are pisces mystery <laughs> you know what i mean the unknown the emotion facing the darkness there with the moon not really knowing what lies there what when the sun rises what will i see you know i'm in the dark there and you're doing it anyway you're letting your heart your soul and how you see your life to be lead you and this is very good um in a person's lifetime we do this there's one big one that we do this could be the one for you where we truly step into the complete unknown not knowing the outcome like we're throwing ourselves off a cliff you know what i mean and we don't even know if we can fly it you know it's a real risk but it's the most most empowering human moment you can ever have and the majority of the time you will either be saved or you will just fly. You will learn to fly. And I see you doing that. Spirit guide will not let you fall. Okay. They're saying that again. They're going, spirit is telling you, we will not let you fall. We will got you. So let's have a look and see. We got you. And you're going to take back your power. And then you don't even need them anymore. Once you're taking back your power, they sit back and watch you bloom, you know. And um, But they're there when you need them. All right. So know that you are protected. All right. Um, so let's see what will come in here as well. The devil card. New life being offered to you. Yeah, right over here got capricorn coming in here you've got stability in your future that you should know you've got a newfound feeling that wants to work its way into your world um there's your stability you've got an ace of pentacles you've got a new stable beginning okay uh currently right now they are asking you remember in the card it literally said work on your healing that's just before this offer comes in here um they are taking you to a better place here six of swords your spirit guides are guiding you this is why you need healing, your five of pentacles, five of wands, sorry. You are letting go of a very difficult cycle, ten of swords. Go quiet. From now, during this December time, in your energy, okay? So go quiet. Go into hermit mode with Virgo. Pull your energy in. Um, heal. Don't allow yourself to overthink here. Work on your healing. This is advice coming through. All three of these cards are advice. They're telling you to quiet down. Do not have confrontation with family over dinner on Christmas Day. Okay. <laughs> um, just let things go. Let it go. You know what I mean? Um, in some kind of way, be in your own space. Be in your own energy. Do not go into the fray of the shopping crowds try to avoid shop online people people shop online okay <laughs> i don't do black friday and all this kind of things not for years i'm just like i know you know what i mean i shop online and deliver it to my door you know what i mean so with these things here yeah, put your energy in do not overthink the past do not overthink the future 
calm, be calm and work on your healing with the four swords because it's about to get busy. It is about to get busy for you. It's about to shift and change. There is an offer coming in that's going to adjust and change your world. That's the offer. The devil card means the practical things in life. It means um, the way that you feel in your everyday life. Meaning that when I wake up, do I feel like waking up or I feel like I can't get out of bed? Um, am I excited about my day or I'm not excited about my day? That's excitement. That's the feeling of life coursing through you. That's the offer of life coming towards you. It, it can be wealth. Because sometimes a devil card to me, I feel like it's known as a card of wealth. Okay. I do see money or some kind of offer coming in of stability here. Um, I like this a lot. Because with the Ace of Pentacles coming in here, it's an indication that you are going to be having more money coming into your life here. You're going to be having stability coming in or even people coming in that are, are grounded and stable. They're not um, irregular and they're not uh, with their actions towards you. They're just grounded, earthy people. You know what I mean? Could be Capricorn energy. Um, could be one person as well coming into your life here. This new beginning that comes in here changes how you feel in your world here. It makes you feel much more stronger and secure. It's you taking back your power one more time. And this is leading you to a beautiful release energy here. And um, really trust all that is unfolding. Whatever you're dealing with right now, Ten of Swords, Six of Swords, you are being led away from it. It is coming in so much quicker than what you think. The ending or solution to a problem here, it's right around the corner, okay? Um, rest in that knowledge that this problem, this thing that you're trying to fix, it is already, it's, it's already got a solution. It's already getting fixed, okay? You are going to put down this Ten of Swords and you are being led away from a place where there's a lot of confusion, a lot of not being sure what's going on in your world and you are being taken to a place where things are much, much better. You need to trust this unfolding. You need to let this go. You need to trust that everything is happening to you for a reason. And all things unfolding right now is time related. And let me tell you something. The time is coming very quick for this. It's right around the corner. While you can right now, rest. Because once this new offer comes in here, once this new shift happens in your world, you're going to be quite busy. Life is going to change for you drastically and um, have all the energy you need to have to be ready for that. Because sometimes with the Seven of Cups, it can mean you are burned out, completely burned out. And that's because of the, all the issues and problems. That's why they're going rest and recover because you're going to need all the energy you are going to need for this new rebirth in your life. This is beautiful energy. Um, a lot of stuff is happening here, especially almost for all the zodiac signs. I feel like into the 2023, big changes, big changes. There we go. Thank you so much. If it does resonate with you, you can subscribe. There's a button over there if you wish to do so. Um, there is your playlist. Whatever video calls to your soul, you can go watch it. Up on top here, we have got, there are timeless videos. We've got my new pick a card reading channel. It's not even a month old yet. And so if you want to go check that out, you can go do so and check one of the videos there. It is pick a card readings. Otherwise, I'm sending my love to you. Thank you for watching the video. Bye.